first time creating music. I was in a Rage Against the Machine, at the drive-in style, cover band with a few originals, and I was a singer. You know, it was really angry. Really? You're a singer? I, I was didn't a, know I, that. I screamed, yeah, like a lunatic. Zero, zero, zero. Initially, Josh and Danny and I started making music because a friend offered us a gig supporting his son's band. They were like 11 and they were playing this show. So we, at the very last minute, put together a band and wrote a bunch of songs in two or three weeks. Mm. It was awful. And we got up and did it and we didn't realise how terrible it was, but I actually still have the recording of that show uh, just in case I ever really want to feel bad about myself. We used to have a lot of shows where we'd start off, you know, something's not working, something's buzzing, we have to unplug everything and see where the, the weak link is. It doesn't happen very often anymore. First bit of gear is the um, Krumar Performer synth. It's a string synthesizer. Uh, I think it's mid 70s, mid to late 70s that it was put out. It's an analog synth with a, um, that does a string section. It's got a really lush chorus, um, vibrato sound to it. Duran Duran used it a lot, and when I went and bought it from the guy, he was like, oh yeah, you'll, you'll sound like Duran Duran, man. And I was like, oh, cool. Unfortunately, I didn't sound like Duran Duran. Second bit of gear is my little modular synth box. I've got a little live modular box, which has a few fil filters in there, a few delays. It's got a mixer and a, um, a few modulation pieces. It's got a nice tap tempo LFO that I use in, in a lot of tracks. Use that to process the Kruma and the Nord um, and um, a few other sounds. The Yamaha CS30, it's a mono synth, it's an analog mono synth. Again, I think that's mid 70s. Big beast of a thing, it sounds huge. I think that was Yamaha's top of the line mono synth at that time, and there's just amazing sounds and amazing routing possibilities you can get out of it. It's kind of do stuff, you, you don't really need to go to the module a lot of the time, you can get it out of the, the Yamaha. There are Roland Space Echo, that use that a lot. Not so much live anymore, someone spilled a beer in it backstage once live and um, that was the end of taking it out live. But there's nothing that really does that delay sound, I think so. Yeah, that gets used heaps in here whenever we're you know, doing recordings and stuff. Fender Rhodes Mark I, uh, so I've wanted one for ages and I finally got one a few years ago. Totally mechanical, uh, electric piano, and it's, yeah, it's beautiful, it's amazing. We've never